Do you know why most defense attorneys don't know how to ask the right questions at a question and answer session for an injured victim? Would you like to learn the answer? Come join me as I share with you this great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial attorney practicing law here in the state of New York. When you bring a lawsuit, whether it's for medical malpractice, for an accident case, or even a wrongful death case, at some point during the litigation process, you as the injured victim will have to come in and testify in what's known as a pretrial question and answer session. That's also known as a deposition or an examination before trial. And that gives the defense, the attorney who represents the people you have sued, an opportunity to question you, to find out things like what happened in your own words, to find out what problems you have as a result of that. Let me share with you why I believe many defense attorneys who come in to question the injured victim at their deposition do not ask the right questions. The reality is that most defense attorneys who are coming in to question the injured victim are inexperienced attorneys. They're the junior associates and they get that assignment. Why? Because they are not permitted to go ahead and represent the doctor or represent the people that are being sued until they get sufficient experience. So typically what will happen is that the junior associate will come into the question and answer session with a stack of typewritten questions. And I know the moment that happens that I'm going to be there all day and that the attorney is going to be asking questions that many times have absolutely nothing to do whatsoever with the claims being made in the case. Now, is there anything that we can do in order to speed the process up or to get the attorney to, to limit the questions they're asking? The answer is no, because this is known as discovery. And the defense attorney does have a legal opportunity to ask you many different questions, even if they are not directly on point with the key issues or claims being made in the case. So that tends to be a very frustrating experience for you, the injured victim, as well as for me, because I have to sit there as well, listen to it, and if I feel those questions are inappropriate, I have to make an objection and then allow the witness to answer. Now, why is this a big deal? Well, it's not until the defense attorney gets many years of experience, sometimes as many seven years before they are permitted to go to trial and represent the people that have been sued. Why is that? The insurance companies want to make sure that the people who are representing them at trial are very experienced and know exactly what they're doing. So, you know, why do I share this great information with you? I share it with you just to give you an insight and an understanding of what goes on behind the scenes that you don't really know about until the time of your deposition and you're going through it. You know, chances are you have questions or concerns about your own particular legal matter. And if your matter happened here in New York and you do have legal questions, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. I handle questions like yours every single day and I welcome your call. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at lawmed10 at yahoo.com. I'm Jerry Oginski here in New York. Thanks so much for watching.